Now let's learn how to change from small units to bigger units. When given a problem, again, we start by comparing the given unit and the answer unit. So what we start with and what we want to find. If what we're starting with is the smaller unit, we're going to divide by the number of smaller units. For example, we would divide when changing ounces to cups. Cups are bigger than ounces, so we would need less of them. We would also divide if we're changing from cups to pints. In other words, whenever we're starting in the left column, a smaller unit, and changing to the right column, a larger unit, we will divide. Let's try some examples. Our first problem says 12 cups is equal to how many pints? Find the relationship on your chart. Cups and pints. Two cups equals one pint. You'll notice we're starting in the smaller unit, trying to get to the larger unit. So we're going to divide. We know that two cups is equal to one pint. Now let's find out how many pints are in 12 cups. To convert from cups to pints, we're going to divide by two. So 12 cups equals 12 divided by two pints. This means 12 cups equals six pints. In our next problem, let's change from quarts to gallons. How many gallons is 18 quarts? So the unit we are starting with is 18 quarts. We're switching to gallons. Find that on your chart. Quarts are smaller than gallons, so again, we'll divide. Our chart reminds us that four quarts is equal to one gallon. This means four is the number we're going to divide by. So 18 quarts is equal to 18 over four get quart. Whoops, typo. So 18 quarts is equal to 18 divided by four gallons. 18 divided by four is four and a half. So 18 quarts is equal to four and a half gallons. 